Ladies and gentlemen, now over the last couple of days, I got a lot of questions seeing the Assault Mode Meliodas banner is coming on Tuesday. Should I summon on this banner? Should I take the gamble? And my advice is if you don't have any of the Archangels, man, it's a pretty good gamble to take. There's 0.25 each on the banner, and Sariel is still one of the most ridiculous characters in the entire game. Here, I notice he doesn't have the Sariel merger, so I'm going to save up for a turn to play here and go for a Tank the Antorn and Pumpkin Bombs, but this is one of my favorite teams to play. It's also fantastic going against the one Escanor second. Uh, on my free-to-play account, I run Evasion Food like my opponent is here, uh, and yeah, it's just really, really good because Tank the Ant is so incredibly good at just being this force of nature that can withstand the one Escanor for a fair bit while you build up the cards on Sariel to just go absolutely ham. Uh, so next turn, I think we've got the play here. Maybe. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see what happens, man. So we're going to go for the Sariel single target card. And then the, the God Cleave, the Golden Cleave there. And then hopefully uh, use this final card on Sariel. I'm not too sure if Tank Deanna's going to die or not here, though. Kind of depends a bit on RNG. Oh, no, she's 100% dead. Uh, and that Cleave should kill Gotha. And then we finish off... Um, uh, Sariel here. <laughs> so yeah, basically, if you don't have Sariel, man, you know, I sound like, I feel like I sound like a broken record at this point, but like, he's, he's worth taking the gamble for, because especially on the Japanese version as well, I don't think there's really been like a, uh, uh, what is it, really good banner aside from the initial debut banner, where they've come back with like guaranteed chance, so if you are going to take the gamble, there is that, you know, 1% chance that you're even going to get Salt Melly, Sariel, Tarmiel, or Lado. OCL. And like all three of those characters, man, <laughs> absolutely nuts. All right, we got a Gluia team here, man. We are facing uh, Killer Queen here from Dark Shadows. So here we don't have the, the lucky star because again, last match, dude, we had a crazy star. So what we're going to do is we're going to chuck up this. I think we go for Pumpkin Bombs and then we'll also go for the upgrade as well. And I think with the combat class, there shouldn't be evasion food here. Uh, so yeah, I think we're moderately safe. For next turn, if we can draw into another upgrade and cleave card, man, that'd be perfect. Okay, that's a really good draw. Not bad at all. We'll certainly take that, man. A lot of single target firepower here. So, again, hiding the Gotha behind Deanne is just, like, insanely valuable as well. Because the Gotha stacks are building up every single turn. And also on this team, I run the one Escanor on the sub with a health set as well. Uh, on my Whale account for more combat class, on my free-to-play, I run the uh, the standard attack set. Um, but here, he hasn't actually gone for a shield. So, I think what we go for is... Uh, this actually might just about be enough to get Escanor down here. Because this is definitely going to kill Gotha. It's going to proc the revive. And hopefully Escanor goes down. Even if he doesn't go down, he's like very, very low in terms of his overall hit points. So it like massively mitigates the flood damage as well. Uh, but yeah, he died there. So that's a really good time. The thing is as well with Sariel is he actually um, uh, currently as well. Uh, only has uh, four out of five attack cosmetics. So I think with the Assault Meliodas event, we should be getting the fifth Sariel cosmetic as well. And then man's just going to go even more crazy. So if you think this is disgusting, man, uh, it's going to be a little bit more gross uh, come, I think, Tuesday. Hopefully, if the final Sariel cosmetic does get added. All right. Now, next up, we got a Ludo Escanor Gotha team here. Uh, I'm not too sure if this is going to be a player or not, because Ludo, there's no, like, I don't think any combat class food here. Um, I think we'll assume they're running evasion food anyway, but Ludo and evasion food doesn't really make too much sense, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, but here, there's no Goddess Elizabeth, man, and this is, this is like, a, uh, a pretty frequent uh, second turn draw with Sario as well, is that you draw, like, into... Um, Another upgrade and another uh, bronze card as well. Sorry. It's a little bit lucky in all fairness, man. But again, there's like a 50% chance of every single card. It's even going to be a Sariel card or a Gotha upgrade there. And then, yeah, if there's no like Goddess Elizabeth to protect. And this is like, again, most Assault Melee teams as well. Uh, turn 2 play. <laughs> again, a good amount of the time you can have something like this on turn 2. Where you've got like the Golden Cleave card. And then you can just like wipe the entire floor. 
Uh, so yeah, Sario is, he's just broken, man. He's just way, way too good. All right, let's check out our next matchup. Oh, what a surprise. It's Glue Eater. No way, dude. I never would have expected we'd see this in top tier PvP. He does have the lucky merger start as well. Um... I think just to be safe, I'm going to try and bait out evasion food here. There's a bit of a chance, but also he's in the bottom bracket. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I went for that, dude. I'm glad I went for that. Okay, so this this man's... Uh, he's packed a little bit of combat class. Really nice play next turn, actually. Because we can just go for double upgrade and then... Um... Yeah, he's full send and yeah at this point, man. Um, I think he's going to struggle to get down first turn. And then Tarmio is the association. This is another reason why Tarmio is so valuable. Because <laughs> we just get that massive uh, heal based on the amount of defense she has there. So, at this point, I think we go for double upgrade on Sario. He didn't put up a Liz shield there, which is a big, big mistake. Um, and then we can punish quite substantially. This should be enough damage to kill uh, Gotha here. And again, once you got like that fifth Sario attack cosmetic, it's going to be like pretty much guaranteed um, killing Gotha every single time with a uh, golden AoE turn two. And then next up, um, what are we going to have? A big Liz shield here. Okay, so that's a uh, level two Liz shield. We're also going to have pumpkin bombs as well. Hmm. I'm thinking about the best play to go for here. I think we send in another Golden Cleave card. And then, really, the key to winning at this point is um, just making sure Escanor goes down. We still have the Taunt on Deanne, so then I think we roll back as well. Oh, actually, I think this is going to kill Goddess Liz, so it puts us in a pretty good position. And would just be, like, additional damage to... Um, Oh, hopefully it kills Goddess Liz. <laughs> Got a lucky merger there, man. Uh, but yeah. Then we're in a really strong position. You know, we got the Gotha control. We still got an upgrade single target card. We drew so many Deanne cards there. Literally a handful of Deanne cards. Um, which is, is moderately unfortunate. Okay, I'm trying to think, like, what my best play is here. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing I love here, man. I must admit. Um, I think we go for the Golden Taunt here. And then let's upgrade on Sario at this point, I think, as well. Because the, the only way, like, he kills me is, like, Lost Vein all. So I want to make sure I get that Lost Vein down next turn. But fair play to MG Yambu. He's not giving up. This man is playing like a champion. So I, I gotta gotta give him a little bit of respect there, man. Okay, no, oh, he's he's going for a big send, a very big send indeed. Right. I mean, he's not gonna wipe my Sario with Gothas all. I would imagine anyway. I think so. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, like, Dan, Deanne should be alive by a country mile. And this should hit astronomically hard. Almost 500,000 damage there, dude. Oh, my goodness. After he... I was, I was actually about to, like, <laughs> give him that match. Because I appreciate that he's holding it out till the end. Uh, but, yeah. Fair play, dude. That was a cool match. But, anyway, let's move on to our next opponent. All right, so for our final opponent today, okay, I think we've got a Tank Deanne Escanor team here. Um, oh my god, dude. There might there might be evasion food here. <laughs> this is like the best possible Sario start you can get. I'm just going to go for it regardless. Just going for the silver first, just to test evasion food. And there's no evasion food. And we're done, boys. That That is the god start. That is the craziest possible start you can get. I think this this is uh, <laughs> very, very likely. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that draw as well, dude. That's nuts, bro. Gosh. Some some matches of Sario are just like, they're filthy, man. Like, es Escanor matches, like, they can be really, really nice when you get the right draw. But it's Sario's, like, cleave card. You know, that hits everybody for just astronomical damage is what makes him, um, you know, this crazy force of nature. Um, I, I don't know if this is going to be enough damage. Or might just be. Nah. Because she's got the revive as well. So I was kind of hoping that 
Uh, we get a little bit luckier on the second wave of crits, and the Dian card would kind of trigger the revive on the first one, but not quite there. But the good news is, this is a 20 IQ sim, but, I mean, it wouldn't have really <laughs> mattered, like, with that draw, dude, it wouldn't have mattered if it was a player or not, because the, the game was instantly decided turn one with that, so, yeah. Sariel, Sariel's a beast, dude. I love Tommy as well. Ludo as well. If you get a few copies, you want to wail out on all the cosmetics and everything, uh, make sure that man is absolutely perfect. Also can be a, um, you know, absolutely insane character. But, uh, yeah, the Assault Melee banner is still going to have, like, a pretty decent level of overall value just because the Archangels, in my opinion, are still absolutely insane and very meta-relevant. Again, the one Escanor, he is the one Escanor, man. He's absolutely crazy. He got some insane damage. But I think a lot of the Archangels, in their own way, do very good stuff to be able to compete and counter him on certain teams and setups. You just got to, uh, you know, have a bit of a look into what's working well for each of the Archangels yeah, make your own decisions from there. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this look at Sario in Elite PvP, reminding you that this man is still absolutely broken. <laughs> Not to mention he's amazing for PvE as well. So yeah, if you don't have the Archangels, man, I'd, I'd say the gamble's like potentially worth it, but just bear in mind as well that none of the Archangels are guaranteed on the banner so you could go 900 gems deep 1800 gems deep and still not see a copy of Sariel or Tamiel so you know it's a big gamble banner but there's a lot of potential jackpots within it as well uh, but yeah ladies and gentlemen let me know your thoughts on the archangels in the comment section below and let me know are you going to be summoning on Assault Meliodas when he does come to the global version on Tuesday uh, thank you all very much for watching take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day you are not subscribed to the whales sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.